Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about what could have gone wrong if electrophoresis gels melted. Sometimes students and researchers set uh, voltage too high, intentionally or unintentionally, which would cause rise of the temperature of the buffer and the gel and in this case gel would melt and we may see pictures like this. But today I also want to discuss importance of the buffer. Take a look, during electrophoresis water will be electrolyzed, generating protons at the anode, while hydroxyl ions at the cathode. This effect leads to the cathodal end of the electrophoresis chamber becomes basic and anodal and acidic. The electrophoretic mobility of DNA is affected by composition of the ionic strands of the electrophoresis buffer, because pH of these buffers are neutral, the phosphate backbone of the DNA, which possess a net negative charge, will migrate towards the anode. In the absence of the ions, in other words, if water is substituted for electrophoresis buffer in gel or in the electrophoresis tank, electrical conductivity is minimal and DNA migrates slowly, if migrates at all. In the buffers of high ionic strength, meaning high concentration of uh, electrophoresis buffer, such as 10x, if you use it mistakenly, in this case electrical conductance become very efficient and significant amounts of heat will be generated. Even if moderate voltage is applied, the gel will melt and DNA will denaturate. So as you see, not only voltage important, but also concentration of the buffer. Both of them may lead to uh, such gels as you see in these pictures. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.